Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be this classic holiday glam look with super, super amounts of glitter. Before I get started, I would also love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. Today's notification shout out goes to Marianne. Thank you so much for having my notifications on. And if you want a shout out in the next video, uh, comment down below with the hashtag notification squad and let me know that you're notified of every upload. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Let's put our cat ears on. <clears throat> so before I start, I want to apologize for two things. Um, the rain noise in the background and my ratchet nails. I'm getting them done tomorrow. I want to do a lip scrub today. I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Velour, Velour Lip Scrub in Mojito. Um, this smells amazing. It literally smells like a mojito. Mojito is my favorite drink in the whole world. And yeah, my lips are like dying. I am about to film after this <laughs> a my lip injection experience video. This may be up after that, so I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just using this lip scrub. Mm, it tastes so good. It literally tastes like a mojito too. And yeah, my lips were a little dry, so I had to do that. Now I'm going to use my Murad Soothing Skin and Lip Care. And oh my god, this stuff is so hydrating. I love it. And yeah, my lips just need hydration today. It's actually supposed to get cold in Miami. I'm so excited. But it's super rainy today, but you know. Rain usually brings a cold front, so it's supposed to be in the 40s tonight and tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. All right, I'm going to start with my eyes today. I don't know what this hand motion was. Now I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just going to set that using any powder. All right, I'm going to use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette. It's so dirty. It's very well loved and very used, <laughs> clearly. And I'm gonna take, ooh, this shade right here. Next, I'm gonna take a bit of a darker shade and the one right under it. Where are we? <laughs> right here. That one right here, and that's going in the crease. Just gonna take the original brush and just blend the two together. They're not really coming through the way I want them to, but it's okay because we're gonna go in with a darker color in the crease right now. So now I'm gonna take a MAC 221 brush and it's pretty small and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a pretty dark brown, but I'm gonna take this like really precisely in the crease and just uh, kind of wing it out over here because we're gonna do a cut crease. Ooh, loving that so far. I've gotta build up the color because clearly it's a little difficult. We're gonna cut our crease with the same concealer tart shape tape. And the best way to do a cut crease, as I've mentioned several times on my channel, is to put product near your crease and then just look up like normal. And where that marks, that's where your crease is. So oh, I need to add more brown there clearly because I did not go high enough like I thought I should. And we're going to wing out the cut crease as I started to do with the shadow. It's looking a bit messy right now. Alright, I'm going to take a super thin brush and go in with that same crease color. Alright, let's blend it out a bit using the MAC 221 with no additional product but still has like some of that dark dark color on it I'll deepen this out a little bit more after I put the crease color and the glitter that I'm about to do okay, I'm gonna go in with this gold right here but it's not gonna be you know the main event of the lid Ooh, this has a lot of fallout I, I'm glad I started with the eyes Before we continue, I'm gonna keep building up this darker color right here to my liking. I'm gonna try to use a, a chunky glitter. I'm gonna use the Inglot Gel Liner in 77. This is like the best thing ever. I wonder if a liquid would have been better. All right, let's wipe away 
all of this fallout, if it's even possible. I'm just gonna take these lashes in Bella and put them on off camera. Let's prime. I always prime with the same thing. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have glitter everywhere. Like, it will not come off. For today, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation because this will leave my face nice and matte and that's what I want. I want the contrast from glitter to matte in the face. For, whoa, that goes, oh my god, it's so creepy. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I keep pulling at my nose ring, it's so annoying. I gotta get used to putting makeup on with it. And now I'm gonna cream contour using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Contour foundation stick. I don't know. It's a foundation stick, but like whatever. And this is like the turn one. I'm gonna use this Morphe RG6 brush. This came in my monthly subscription box from Live Glam. And I'm gonna take this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. And it's this shade, and it came in that little tiny set that I'm also including in my holiday giveaway. Why does this look so patchy on camera? We're not really patchy in person. But yeah, this color looks gorgeous. Oh, I got some in my hair. This, I, I'm telling you. So pretty though. And now I'm just going to set everything, like my concealer and my contour, with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Let's set the concealer first. Now I'm going to set the contour. I've been loving this brush for contour. Alright, now I'm going to bake under my contour just to make it look even more snatched and the side of my nose as well and I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera all right let's do the lower lash line so I'm gonna go in with the same colors that we went in the crease with but in a gradient effect so I'm starting with like the lightest shade and then I'm gonna progressively get darker as I go toward the actual waterline I'm gonna take a thinner brush and the dark, dark shade. A mix of the dark red, dark red, <laughs> dark brown and the reddish brown. And a thinner brush. This is the NYX Treasure Lee eyeliner, which Kathleen Lights loves. Let's wipe away this bake. Let's put lower lash mascara before I forget. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Jouer highlighter in the shade Citrine and my Anastasia brush that I've been loving so much. This is probably going in my favorites. Look at this highlight. I've been loving putting highlight right here. So pretty. So pretty. I'm also going to use this as an inner corner highlight because I think it makes a really nice inner corner highlight. And brow bone, just a little bit, like right under the arch. For blush, I'm going to use the Tarte Cosmetics blush in the shade Stellar. Super pretty. Hopefully this will fix my muddy contour. Okay. 
For lips, I'm first gonna go in with MAC Lip Liner in the shade Cherry. And this is like a bright, bright red. Next, I'm taking the YSL lipstick in the shade 01. I believe I bought this for myself last year for my birthday. It's this shade right here. It's so pretty and I think it's perfect for the holidays. So now I'm going to teach you how to make any lipstick matte. This isn't a matte lipstick and I kind of wanted my lips to be matte. Um, my lips and face to be matte as like to make a contrast between the glitter in the eyes and the face on the lips So first you're gonna need a tissue and you're just gonna blot your lips like that If you want you can leave it at that and that kind of makes it matte But to go the extra bit you want to take the other side of the tissue and take any loose powder or do it again And of course, you have to finish the look off with some setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm obsessed with it. Like always, I like to press it into my skin. It makes my look just last. So this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And while you're down there, turn on that notification bell for a shout out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! When it falls in the wind, you know